Hey everyone, how's it going? Just thought I'd do a quick video update. I've been talking about this for like two weeks or something, about having to do some work on the Miata. Big parts, because I've got a few things going on. I don't want to mix the parts up. I've got parts all over the place. So there's all the parts there. <clears throat> and I'll show you what the problem is. Let me see if I can, let me get a light. Just hold on a sec. Sorry. <clears throat> Not very well prepared. I've got a very scratchy voice. It's really smoky outside from the fires on the west coast. Okay, look down there in the crank. See, notice anything about that keyway? See how it's all worn out? Um, that, along with... See, one of the things I was worried about when I started taking this part was that the crank pulley there looks fine, right? Nothing looks wrong with the keyway. That's what you have to think. Until I took the uh, timing belt off and I realized that I could turn this a little bit, just about a full tooth, maybe a little more. Let me see, look down there. You can, let's try to get a good shot here. There we go. See how the key is lodged and moved over? So along with the millimeter on the crank, it's about a millimeter off on here too. Um, so yeah, caused the timing to be way off, causing the car to have like no power yeah, it's hard to get a good shot, but yeah, there you go. That's not bad. And so yeah, everything came apart fairly easy. Um, shout out to Treasure Coast Miata for sending me all the parts I needed. Um, yeah, this is this is awesome. It's very glad. Cleaned it up down there. Uh, you can see, it's, I was going to replace the the crank seal, but this engine was rebuilt not terribly long before we got the car. Um, which is probably why this crank had this thing. This is a common problem among, among Miatas, the, the short nose crank, what these are called. They later remedied it by having a longer nose crank with a longer key and it didn't do it. But what happens is when people rebuild it or redo the timing and take out the crank bolt, and they don't torque it properly and it comes loose. And so the only thing holding the, the uh, crank, crank pulley, timing belt pulley on there is the keyway. That's not designed to be that way. The keyway will wear away. Um, it's supposed to be the crank bolt that holds it tight. So the fix is, I've got a new, a new key, Woodruff key, new crank pulley. Um, the repair actually calls for to put it every, get everything lined, twist the crank pulley. I've there's a tool I borrowed. I actually ordered one, and borrowed one. Um, hold it up against the good side of the thing and fill this in with Loctite. Loctite 660. People have tried it with uh, uh, JB Weld, and that held for a little while. Tools to hold the crank. This is the one I borrowed, and this is the one that, I, that arrived that I ordered. It arrived the next day after I borrowed that. These are, that's crank bolt, new crank bolt, because they they stretch a little bit. New crank pulley bolt. A uh, new key is in there. This is the uh, new crank pulley. You can see the, the keyway is perfect and straight in there. Brand new, actual Japanese part, Mazda Genuine part. There we go, Mazda Genuine parts. Again, if you have a Miata, go to Treasure Coast Miata. Um, these are a couple of seal driving tools that uh, a good guy from the local Miata group loaned me. He works at a Mazda dealership. So this is the uh, Loctite 660. This is for the bolt itself. And actually you put a little bit around the this area. I also sanded, kind of roughed up. I used 100 grit sandpaper on the, the crankshaft itself and just give it something to bite onto. Um, and this this is actually a thicker. It's Loctite 660 press fit, press fit repair, repairs worn shafts and housings. Um, it's thicker stuff. I had to order this. I couldn't find it anywhere locally. And so yeah, what I do is you put the thing in, you put the key in, then you fill in the gap where it's all worn away with this. Torque everything down to spec. It's got to sit for a minimum of three days before you do anything. Assemble everything and you should be good to go. People have been known to get well over 100,000 miles once this repair is done, done properly. Um, the nice thing about working on this Miata is look at all this room in here. Once I took the radiator out, 
there's just oodles of room. It's, it's so nice to actually work on a car that you're not banging up your knuckles on everything inside or having to use all sorts of U-joints and stuff on your sockets. And it's just a fairly simple, I, I put that alternator in last summer. Um, yeah, and the, uh, the timing belt itself is still in good shape. I marked it for, cause I'm going to reuse it because it's got no cracks, no chip, chip teeth or nothing. It's like brand new. No oil on it or anything either. I might yet yeah, take the uh, valve cover, sand it and polish it or maybe paint it. I don't know. The radiator's still good. The radiator is a common issue with these cars too, is they're undersized and they tend to uh, tend to crack. The top and bottom tanks are plastic and so they tend to crack. This one hasn't, but I don't know. It's something to think about for the future. They are fairly easier to move. It's basically remove the hoses, take the fan off, and it's just these two bolts. The other part of it sits down in those little cradles there. So, yeah, it's really just disconnecting a bunch of hoses, unbolting things. Um, that's it, just time consuming. Uh, being as I've never done this before, it took me a little longer than I should. I imagine if I was to do this again, I could probably do it in about a third of the time that this has taken. I was out here last night till about gonna say 10 o'clock so from 6 to 10 four hours it took me to get all this crap off and an hour today to come in and clean things up and so yeah this is this is fabulous news I mean it's it's uh well it's not great news it'd be good if I didn't have to fix it but this is a relatively simple fix it's not too bad it's not life-altering one of the nice things though when I took the valve cover off a screwdriver in there to find top dead center. This engine is clean as can be. Really clean. So yeah, somebody's been in here before and rebuilt it. The woman that bought it from had mentioned that it was rebuilt before she got it. So I don't know how many miles it has on the rebuild, but everything's good. I went ahead and marked the timing marks with white paint pen on here just to make them easier to see. Um, this has been super handy. This is a flying Miata. Again, this is borrowed from the guy that works the Mazda dealership. Um, it just holds the, the pulleys aligned. Works perfect. Just slides right in there. Um, yeah, that's it. So tomorrow I'll be... I had to clean this. I want to make sure it's really clean and dry before I start assembling it. And I'll put it back together and I have to go drive three, about three hours away to uh, another part of Alberta, the province, to go pick up another scooter. Uh, yeah, that's right. Now you're saying to yourself, Bruce, what do you need another scooter for? Are you getting crazy again? No, I'm not crazy. This one's mine. My wife wants one now. So I found another one. It's about three hours away. Um, pretty much identical to this, except it's a Honda. A Honda Metropolitan, which is, I mean, they're, you look at them side by side and, it's clear one of them copied the other. Anyway, I'm rambling on again. This is what happens when you spend too much time alone in the garage. You need to talk to someone. Mm, I don't know. There you go. And there's parts of the Santa Fe. I've, this has got to be a busy weekend. This is probably the nice last weather, last nice weather weekend we're going to have here. These lights from the entire Mastercraft have been superb. Um, yeah, so I got to get everything done this weekend. Get that done, get Santa Fe done. I want to get the motorcycle, the dirt bike, the Suzuki put back together. I'm going to paint the tank yet. I started sanding it. And there's the fenders and side covers there. Looking good. Um, probably mow the lawn one last time before I put this away and bring out the snowblower. Don't even want to think about that yet. But yeah, there's some parts for the Saturn. It's it just, I don't know, a million things going on at once. This weekend, I want to get as much done as I can, and you know, that's it. So anyway, now I'm going to have my Coke, wash my hands, go in the house and eat something. I haven't had supper yet, and it's, what time is it? 10 o'clock, 10 after 10. I got clocks everywhere in this garage. One there, one of the saw blade clocks over there, clock up there. Um, let's see. Got a digital clock there. Clock on the wall there. Surprised I don't. I got to put one on this wall. 
don't know. I'm a bit obsessed with knowing what time it is. I grew up in a house. My mother collected clocks, so I'm used to having clocks everywhere you look. Um, it was a very noisy household growing up. We had two grandfather clocks, cuckoo clock, a mantle clock that chimed. Um, just something I kind of grew up with and got used to. You People used to ask, you know, doesn't that drive you crazy hearing the clock all the time? It's like people that live next to an airport. You just don't even notice you're, you're hearing tunes it right out. And like I said, you don't, don't even hear it anymore. Anyway, that's it. I've kept you long enough. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll probably do another video on this later. Something. I don't know. I hear the police helicopter above. Coming to get me. Anyway. Yeah. So that's it. This side. Been on a bit of a roll releasing videos lately. Just had so much stuff going on. It's crazy. Still working on this table. The leaf that goes in the center is slightly off. So what I've done is clamp it this way. Just hoping to flex it back the other way. So it, it just so it, when it meets where the center is, once this board's out, just so it's level with the rest of the table. Anyway, that's it. Again, I'm rambling on. I could make this video probably four hours. So thanks for watching. Take care and have a great weekend. See ya.